Hey everyone, welcome to another episode from Ampro Engineering. This front end is the same front end that RC 4 wheel drive has been using on their Trailfinder 2 Mojave Toyota pickup body. On the actual truck, this front end came out in 1982 and lasted until 1983. It was the final upgrade to the truck's cosmetics before the truck was replaced in 1984. The problem is these lights don't look correct. From an angle, you can see that the light is actually recessed and then it's completely flat. That is not how they are in reality. In reality, the light protrudes slightly from its mounting location and is nearly flush with this parking light. On top of that, these rectangular lights aren't exactly perfect rectangles. They are slightly curved on the top and on the sides. And that is what Ampro has brought to you here. Now this version is made out of a very high detail plastic and as such does have all the little detailing here on the rear. The thing is all the little shapes and protrusions and all that do give it a bit of a, of a milky look. The way it will come is like this. This version here has been sanded slightly with 400 grit sandpaper and then what we're going to do is shoot this with a coat of clear. The clear is going to help to give this a much more transparent appearance but again you actually don't want to have it clear because in reality these are not simply glass sheets on the front of this truck. It is a sealed beam headlamp. When we're done we'll drop it in here. You can see that it sits nearly flush with this parking light. We are also going to paint this perimeter, this little lip here, a matte black so that you are going to get that slightly rounded rectangular look that this truck needs. So the first thing we're going to do is give these a bit of a sanding. I've got some 400 grit sandpaper here. I'm just gonna take this lamp and put it face down and just kind of sand it in a circle like this. And initially it's a little bit rough, but as you go ahead and continue sanding it, it gets smoother and smoother. And that is because we are sanding down the high points. You can kind of see now these concentric circles. We really don't wanna see that. We wanna sand it until those are gone. Okay, you can see that there's a few remaining here on the, on the perimeter, but in the center, they are, are completely gone. I've done this sanding on all four of these headlamps, and I did want to note as well that because of how these things need to be printed, it is imperative that they're in the same orientation. And because of that, each order of these headlights on Shapeways contains a single headlamp. So for your average truck, you're going to need two orders. And again, that is simply to prevent any kind of inconsistency in the printing process. These four have been clear coated and then I also painted the perimeter after I clear coated it in a matte black to give it the proper scale appearance. I also wanted to highlight that this, this one here and only this one here has a little bit of fogginess right there, whereas the others do not. Now, I'm fairly certain that this is simply an anomaly in the 3D printing process, but I think you need to be aware that this may actually happen. I've also heard from some people that they've had clear printed plastics fog over time. I have not seen this, but please be aware that something like this may happen in the printing process and that is simply a side effect of the 3D printing process and that there may be some slight fogging in the future. Again, I have not experienced the fogging, but I've heard of that. And this is not something that Shapeways is liable for. This again is simply a part of the 3D printing process. Now we need to go ahead and install this. This is quite awkward right now because I am holding the truck between my legs since I can't really stand this up on the desk. And the reason for this is the truck needs to be vertical while the glue cures. And to bond this, you'll need to take a very high quality model glue or even an optically clear adhesive. This can be purchased at the hardware store, usually there for uh, glass repairs, and simply go around the perimeter. Any kind of super glue will completely ruin the appearance. And then we'll take our light and just drop it right in like that. Do it to both sides. Both of the headlights have been set into place. The best thing you can do to let them cure is just prop the truck up like so, or just stand the body up, but just make sure that the glue has time to cure to set the headlights. I think the last thing to do now is turn these headlights on. And there they are. Try and get these to focus in a little bit more. Oh, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this episode, everyone. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.